welcome back to my channel we are asked to solve for x okay now because we have square roots and we have square roots the only way to clear square root is to square it all right so if you have square root of x and you want to cancel this square root just square it once you square it this square cancels your square root sign and you have your x and remember that our intention is to remove any obstacle that is preventing us from getting our x so let's first of all remove that square root sign okay so let's square both sides of this equation if we square both sides we have square root of x plus square root of x minus 40 all squared is equal to 10 squared all right now remember that a plus b all squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared now in this case our a is root x and our b is square root of x minus 40. now it's going to be a squared that is square root of x squared all right square root of x squared plus 2ab 2 multiplied by root x multiplied by root x minus 40. okay then plus b squared plus square root of x minus 40 squared okay is equal to 100 because 10 squared is 100 now let's cancel out recall what i told you so this we remove this we have x plus now this will give us two we have root x multiplied by root x minus 40. remember the rule of salt yes the rule of salt that states that square root of a b is equal to square root of a multiplied by square root of b so since they are apart we can bring them together to be under the same root sign okay so that means that we can express this as square root of x multiplied by x minus 40. all right then plus here our square we remove the square root sign and we have x minus 40 is equal to 100. now let us collect like terms okay x plus x will give us what 2x so we have 2x plus 2 root x bracket x minus 40 all right then minus 40 is equal to 100 now let's transfer this minus 40 to this side and it becomes plus 40 but please hit the subscription button turn on your notification bell if this is the first time you are going across this channel all right because um i wouldn't like to miss you all right so do that so that you will always be notified anytime i upload a new video please give me a thumbs up if you actually enjoyed this video and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much i appreciate it okay now let us continue from here we have two x all right plus two root x multiplied by x minus 40 then is equal to 100 minus 40 we cross to become plus 40. okay now this turns out to be 2x plus 2 root x multiplied by x minus 40 is equal to 140. now if you look at this if you look at this notice that we can factorize two out from here right yes so if we bring out the common term which is two two x divided by two we are left with x plus two root x multiplied by x minus 40 divided by two these two we cancel this and we are left with this okay so we have x bracket x minus 40 all right is equal to 140 now we can express 140 as 2 multiplied by 70 right so we have two brackets x plus x bracket x minus 40 oh i forgot the square root sign sorry about that so this will be square root of x bracket and this will be yeah square root of x bracket x minus 40. all right now let's use this bracket then is equal to now 140 is same thing as 2 multiplied by 70. so having done or having said that having said that that simply means that this inside the bracket should be equal to 70 right yeah so you can now write x plus 
square root of x bracket x minus 40 okay is equal to 70 transfer this to the other side okay so we are left with x multiplied by x minus 40 square root okay is equal to 70 minus x so this is square root of x times s is x squared x times minus 40 is minus 40 x is equal to 70 minus x now we need to remove this root sign and the only way to do that is to take square of both sides again okay so let us take square of both sides all right so if we do that we will have um square root of x squared minus 40x all squared is equal to 70 minus x squared okay let me clean everything so that i don't get confused all right so this is squared all right now record that your square will remove your square root and we are left with x squared minus 40x is equal to now a minus b raised to the power of 2 is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared okay so this will give us a squared that is 70 squared minus 2 multiplied by 70 multiplied by x then plus x squared so we have x squared minus 40x is equal to now 70 squared means 70 times 70 that is same thing as 700 times 7 which will give us 4900 yeah so we have 4900 minus 2 times 70 is 140 x plus x squared now we have x squared here and we have plus x squared so if it crosses it becomes minus x squared so then we remove each other so let's collect like terms now what we have here is minus 40x let's take it to this side and we have zero here so we have zero is equal to 4900 minus 140x minus we cross to become plus 40x okay so we have zero is equal to 4900 now minus 140x plus 40x will give us minus 100x okay yeah all right we are almost there close to the solution so if we transfer this to this side this minus sign disappears we have 100 x remaining so we have 100 x is equal to 4900 okay yeah now we divide both sides by 100 both sides by 100 and we have that x is equal to 49 now shall we check let's check if the answer we got is correct if our x is equal to 49 is it really right is it really correct so the question says square root of x that is square root of 49 plus square root of 49 minus 40 is equal to 10. now square root of 49 is 7 plus here we have square root of 49 minus 40 is 9 is this actually equal to 10 all right now we have 7 plus 3 is it actually equal to 10 and yes 10 is equal to 10 so you can see that we are right thank you so much for watching see you in my next video